for Christmas 2021, we decided to go to Tumby Bay, one of our favourite places to go, and it had been a long time since we'd been able to get there due to the COVID and other reasons. So the weather wasn't kind to us for the first few days, but when it did clear up, it was bloody spectacular, and we decided to go down to Lincoln National Park for a look around. quite surprised by the number of emus that we saw in Lincoln National Park. Uh, this is only one of probably four or five groups of emus that we saw along the way. Now if you get to here and you haven't pre-booked and picked up your keys from Port Lincoln Tourist Information, you might as well turn around. It's only key access at this point. So you can see some of the other stuff, but if you haven't got a key, you're not going in here. some sand up further so we'll just get prepared while we're stopped. Start at 20, you can see how we go from there. 25 on the back because there's a pump load of weight. Although we're not as heavy as we normally are. You don't have to car 400 people stuff with you. You can see this here. Right, right. Back, front. 25, 20. Let's go. driving was a lot different to what I expected. I was kind of expecting a lot more sand than what I got, but it was definitely a lot rockier and uh, a lot more cut up. It wasn't difficult, but uh, just took a long time. You need to give yourself a good hour or more to get from the gates at the front at Port Lincoln through to actually get to Memory Cove itself. That's falling, mate. Safe my map reading is 
back of the water. Walking track. We're just gonna go and take a quick look. How about you have a quick look out that way? <laughs> Here we are, Memory Cove. Um, bit of a drive in, it's 40 k's from the turn off near Lincoln. Uh, not, oh, I wouldn't class it as full driving at all. Um, there's some little steep ish rocky bits, but nothing that you can't normally handle. Uh, and we're here, it's beautiful. We'll go for a swim, have some lunch. Just reading this bit about the invent investigator. Matthew Flinders on. I'm going to go with Matthew Flinders, but I don't think he'll be here. 1802, they lost six crew. Their boat capsized. Six people lost their life. Found their boat, but not them. So, um, yeah, beautiful spot. We'll get sorted. The girls are going to get into their swimmers. And then we'll head on down and have a look around. On the coast, that's a dive. With lunch, cooking in the oven in the ute, it was time to go and get the heels wet. All the kids had been out on the paddle board, and now it's time to check out what it was like underwater. <laughs> crystal clear, awesome temperature, not too hot, not cold, just perfect for swimming around and having a look. There was so many fish to see, it was just an awesome place, the kids had a ball, we just can't wait to get back there again. Washed up seals. I'm not washed up. I'm I picked up, I picked up fishing lure, I picked up fishing wire. Yeah, Are you allowed to fish here? It does it. Oh, no, I don't think so. rubbish goes in the top without you. Oh, Mom, I made my with glasses. Under my hat. Oh, this smiley face. I can't really see it. Oh, my shadow goes in the bone.
Lunch of champions. A meat pie. Meat pie on the beach. Can you get a juice box? And nuggets. I'm there, you can see it. You got nuggets? What the heck? Yeah. Can I have one? Can I have a nugget, though? No. <laughs> Please. No, thank you. <laughs> Just out. I got a little bit that way, but you probably won't be able to. We'll see if they come up again. A dolphin out there jumping up and down. There's two. There it is. Right over there now. Pretty cool, though. Not every day you can sit by on the beach, have pies, and watch dolphins jump around, is it? Not every day. We're in a canoe or kayak? We're in a kayak. Well, it's too seated. Um, Dad's just trying to get into the back. And we're going to go for a little ride. I'm going to be the navigator and filmer. And Dad's going to be the steerer. So let's see how we go. We are right now heading outwards from shore and the water's pretty nice. And we are just going for a little well float because Chelsea's on a stand up paddle board and I couldn't get to bring my pink one which is a single and this old man let us borrow his. He is very nice. So we're out into the dark bit and it's whoa nice out here but quite colder than in the shallow bit. Dad's heading out, we're heading towards a bucket and we might try and get it out. Yeah, that's mostly it. Here we are arriving at the bucket. Well, the bucket's up here. Do you think we could get it out there? Here's the bucket. Kuru. Whoa. from just pulling. We're heading back to shore so we can get it out. We're going to ask Luke if he just wants the bucket so he can cut the rope or if he wants the rope and the bucket. And if he does, that will have to dive down there and get it. And it was very hard. It was caught on something really strong. Hi, Mum! Mum, the bucket! Mum! Mom! Mommy! Excuse me, Mom. The bucket's fully stuck. What'd you get? The bucket's fully stuck. Fully stuck. But I'll get to. So we can stand on the bottom, maybe you can just lever it up a bit. Yeah. What are you going to get us anchor. The anchor. And if all else fails, Kiara will uh, Bondi rescue you. <laughs> yeah. Kiara, this is Oliver. Oliver, Kiara. Hi. Hello. Don't try and cat crash into me. Oh, there's the glasses that we got you. Kathy, she's wearing the glasses that we got you. That we got her, not you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we feel like there's a bit of history behind this anchor, but we we don't know for sure yet. I 
got a couple of people that are asking some questions and trying to find out some details to see if we can figure out where this thing come from. Memory Cove was fantastic. We'll be going back for sure. Uh, next time we're going to try and book and get a campsite there. You need to pre-book that if you're going to do it. Um, you have to get in probably a year in advance if you're trying to get in there over Christmas holidays. But I imagine outside of that should be pretty good. Might have took it a little bit easy on that one. Let's have another go. Phew! Pretty stoked to get up that little hill because we tried it a few years ago before we were right in the full drive and we didn't actually get up there so. Pretty happy to get up this one and uh, have a look around. Awesome. Right now I'm trying to decide whether I want to keep going or not. Being on our own with not all our recovery gear. I wasn't sure whether to keep going down or not, but uh, we gave it a go and it was well worth it. The, the views were absolutely spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. The family thoroughly enjoyed every place that we stopped at on the way around. The views were awesome. We will have a little bit of fun getting out of here, but it'll be nice. What's up? Look at the GoPro and I'll show you what's up. Hey? Not even on the water track. Mm. Next time.
screens before, like the three little dots. Bird prints? We could win in giving you last time. Includes our adventure for today. We've just come back, um, had a bit of a look around. We've just got to Wanna Lookout, which is here. Bloody lovely spot. Um, very 12 apostle actually. But there is some cool driving to be done through past those dunes on that beach. That'll be next time. I'll uh, bring Curl with me for that one and we'll uh, come and have some, some fun on the beach and see how we go. Uh, apart from that, I hope you enjoyed it all. We're, um, it's been good. Might have some sunburnt kids, but apart from that, everyone's had a great time and really, really enjoyed it. Um, Memory Cove was bloody spectacular. I need to find out more about that anchor in the ground that in the ocean where we dig it down. Um, that was that was a bit of history there, I reckon. So I'll, hopefully Neil will get back to me about what was going on with that, and uh, we'll see how we go. This charter looks like it's getting a few fish. The off-road tradies wouldn't be possible without our sponsors and supporters. You can find the Off-Road Tradies on Instagram and Facebook.